Just see it. Okay, one and two. Uh, you can see three here. And then at the end, you just like take this piece here. And then you can tell it's like butterfly gun. It's like a butterfly. It's a more than butterfly. So butterfly note, uh, normally for our work we use for uh, anchoring system, uh, attach a midline anchor. And also if you have a uh, yeah, kalau macam ada yang kena potong sudah tu sedikit macam rosak tu tali, still can secure your ropes lah. Okay, so that's how to tie butterfly knot when you on the ground because it's very easy, right? So imagine 50 meters high, you wanna pull the rope up in your hand, so your hand will be like patah, very heavy, 50 meters high. So your fingers can patah. So what you have to do? This one, the climbing line. It's a bottom line, so you just take the one. Then, please, don't worry, we'll teach you how to do this. And then, it's very simple. Okay? So, the, we will teach you two ways how to tie the bottom line. Okay? Next. Fisherman knot. So, double fisherman knot is only used for joining rocks okay so whenever your rocks not long enough so example your tree is 10 meters and then your rocks only five meters <coughs> so tidak boleh panjat kan tidak cukup so, very very simple not <coughs> so what you have to do ada orang buat butterfly uh, double fisherman diambil dua-dua the time bomb and make it this is wrong yeah so what you have to do cross Right. So what you have to do, two rounds saja, dua round, okay? And two, masuk sana. Dan ada orang try buat di atas begini, terus jadi salah. Sebentar, pusing, okay? It's only for joining ropes, yeah? But it's very, very tight. After you put a load on it, bila kamu buka dia, sangat sangat sangat. But there's no choice. There's another option to tie how to join the ropes, but we never do that yet. Mungkin tidak sesuai. Okay, that's very simple. So nanti tu kamu punya cikgu cikgu akan ajar macam mana mau apa. Next, figure of eight or ikatan lapan. And ada pernah ikut pengakap? Pernah. Lapa kamu pilih. Ada ikut pengakap? Ada ada. So figure of eight very simple. Like a rope line like that, so they have like rope gun. Okay, so you have to do just drop that, then this, and then masuk belakang. Okay, simple ya kan? But on your assessment paper, I don't want to, I don't want to see you guys tying not like this. Which is which is a eight, but not dress up properly. Macam kamu bah, kalau mau pergi dinner mau make up make up begitu kan? yang lelaki mau pakai-pakai tai semua so macam tu juga kamu punya not so they must be dressing nicely okay so when we talk about dress nicely so it's what you need like this okay so when we ask you to tie yang not okay give me a video of eight so it must become like this so if it's twist-twist sana sama sama sana so kita potong mata okay kami strik sikit nih nyari semua bisa next okay figure of nine okay Figure of nine, same thing. Figure of eight, just drop. Okay. Bila masuk belakang sini, jadi eight kan? So you just add another round di depan. Right. So when you try tying a knot, make sure dia senang. So when you dress up, satu kali saja. Okay. When you tie your figure nine, it be like this. I want to see like this, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Jam ni. Because all the knots that we learned today is the international standard for tree climbing. So figure of eight and figure of nine, they have similar function for anchoring. And then figure of eight, the strongest knot. For all knots that you learn, the figure of eight is the strongest knot. So figure nine, they add more friction. So they don't say this one is the strongest knot, but this one is much easier to use and also.